trust. But I know. Should just trust me, I already know. Should have never deviated from what I had planned to do. What's up, vlog? Just rolled out of bed for the first day of the tournament here at Harris Chain. We're gonna get out there on the water and see how this thing goes. Yo, fam. What number are you? Oh, I'm 68. You must be the same all year. Don't embarrass us. Big one? That's, that's scary. I guess I just got a giant then. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Well, I'll take that, but don't, no, don't get me wrong, I'm glad to have it now. Biggin? Yeah. 
so action packed day made some bad decisions this morning i wouldn't say bad decisions if i could do over i'd do it a little different i've been catching my fish kind of florida style flipping fishing the bank flipping pads little, little wacky rig it's just been in my mind that maybe i could catch some offshore like probably 90 percent of the field is doing so i decided to try that today for about i don't know at least two hours right at least two hours my buddy tyler it's my buddy tyler he's from florida and um we decided to try to catch some offshore this morning probably should have just stick to my pattern it was one of those last minute things i went to my first area they didn't bite and then i decided to try some of my fourth stuff i should have went to second and third first and if nothing else it would have been less stressful that doesn't, doesn't mean i would have caught any bigger fish or more fish but it would have been a little less stressful but tomorrow we're playing my game i don't care if we come up with zero flipping frogging swim jigging all day we're playing on these games i might give it 45 minutes out there but not a lot not two or three hours 68 all righty Yes, sir. Tomorrow morning we'll do it all again. That's right. about how coin don't need to be at this point. <laughs> in the lock. In the lock. What's his coin? He wasn't mean about it. He was just messing around. No, it's really serious. I mean, he was serious, but he wasn't like serious. On the pro side, Daryl Byron. 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 Six pounds is not what I had in mind for today. I knew it was going to be kind of tough. I may have spun myself out a little bit this morning. I had planned to kind of fish shallow pretty much all day. I went to that area, one of my first, my A1 areas. I felt strongest about. Not a, not me or my co-angler. And uh, I just had this, this hunch to go fish offshore for some reason. A lot of people are doing that. I think just about everybody's doing that. And I had a couple places where I got bit, but no big ones. And in Florida, you can't discount small bites. So uh, I ran down to my, uh, you know, to my place where I thought I was gonna catch them offshore. Coingler caught a couple, a couple small ones, just like I've been catching in practice. And, uh, and I caught one in like two or three hours. So that ain't working out too good. So I decided to go shallow and immediately started catching a couple fish, you know, like at least getting bit. So, um, you know, I probably need more than 15 or so to get up. I need to get out. I, I want to be out of the hundreds for tomorrow at all costs. I'm not, I'm not about that life, about that 1-0-hundred life. What happened in this event? Um, you heard me talk, if you watch my practice video, you heard me talk about, I'm gonna do what I know how to do and, um, and, and fish my way, do things that make sense. And I definitely went in with that, with that mindset, but angler insecurity in the end got me. Um, what happened is I was planning on going, doing some flipping, doing a little bit of frogging, a little bit of swim jigging, throwing my wacky rig a little bit around, you know, a little sparse cover. It always works good for me here in Florida when nothing else is working. And um, I wasn't doing really good, but I knew it was something that if a few things went right, you know, it was going to work out. Well, 
I got started, started on my first area that morning and on my way to my first area, I passed by one of the offshore places that I got a bunch of bites on, but all small. You know, I, I got a bunch of bites there, but nothing that, that, I, that I really wanted to get. What did I miss? How come I didn't come to this area? If it's so good, how did I miss it if all these boats are sitting there? Insecurity. So I decided to just check it. Just stay there for a little while, see what's going on. Stay 15, 20 minutes, then you can go back to your regular scheduled programs. Well, I'll stay for 10, 15 minutes. Guys start catching them. Get a little comfortable, like, okay, well, there's some fish here. Maybe I should stay here for a while. 30 minutes turn to 45, 45 turns into an hour and a half, or you know what, I'm two and a half hours into it. No keepers at all. So I finally scrounged around and went to one more offshore place and I boated one keeper, like a three pound large mouth. Found, I got that fish in the boat and I went, went to my pads, just started fishing the bank again, blind fishing, immediately caught two keepers on a popping frog. I was like, this is what you need to be doing all day, y'all. Had a couple other blow ups here and there. You know, it was, you know, I could tell that I could catch some fish on the bank. Well, for whatever reason, I decided to go back out there offshore again, thinking I was missing something. Insecure about what I was fishing. And ended up only catching those three keepers for the day. Here's the moral of this story. It's a mistake I'll never make, and I don't want you to ever make it in yourself. Always be secure about your bite, your practice, how you fish, how you cast, and how you see fishing through your eyes. That's the mistake I made in this. I didn't believe that what I found was good enough. If I could go back, even if I only caught eight pounds on the bank, I'd rather catch them eight pounds two days in a row. If it was six pounds two days in a row, doing what I know how to do and how I like to, how I think fishing is fun, I'd rather do that than try to do something just because I'm scared that they might beat me doing that. That's what it was, scared that I was gonna get beat doing something um, that, I, that I maybe missed. Won't do that again. Be like, ain't never doing that again. Ever, ever, ever. I will always from now on, which I know this, which is the most frustrating part. I know this. Nobody should have to tell me this. I'll never do it again. I will always fish my way. I'll always keep the ball in my court. I'll never be insecure about how I'm catching fish or think it's too simple again, ever. And I don't want you to do it either. So a tournament vlog turns into an instructional for you and for me. I'm doing this so I can look at this video later on in a tougher tournament practice because I'm always going to have tough tournament practices. It's always going to be challenges. It's always going to be adversity and I eat that stuff. I eat it for lunch. So I know I can. this will be something that I can look back on to remind myself be secure about my practice, about the way I fish, and know that it's all good group. So don't make that mistake in your tournaments, your practice, your life, actually. I think we're only talking about fishing, we're talking about life here. Do you, it's all good. Win, lose, or draw, you do you.